And what is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04. Welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to continue the campaign, The Naked City. I might split this up into two parts. I'm not too, too sure just yet, but I might do that. Uh, there are... This is a long one, so I might... Might split it up into two parts. But we shall see. It doesn't look that bad, but I mean, we'll see. We'll kind of continue the video, see what happens. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. I would hope so, too. Your lips are moving. You know the way. You can drive. You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. That is very Do you have any idea what true. is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Oh, uh, what is that? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Do they now? Because last I checked, they don't, but I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm even... I don't even know what that was. I just kind of was like, all right, well, I'll throw in my two cents because I can and I will. So I really don't know what uh, was being said. Mm, the murder scene at 2.22 p.m. And the duck saying, wait. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with this? Relax, Rusty. Oh, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. There's a bunch of pills. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Her neck is bruised pretty badly. Guess I'm bruising down here, too. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. So we're just not going to talk about the pills that are just laying right next to her? Bruise 
bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Very good. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. This is her in these photos. She's something else. Yes. Nothing significant. Well, obviously. Was pretty girl like that. Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? Maybe she got her heart broken. Couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself a bath and down some pills, and then she just drifted off. I don't know. Miss Julie, she always had so much fire. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Hmm. They're there. Okay. Well, well, well. Looks like barbiturates. What did you say? What is this? Barbiturates. Oh, even more. What else is rattling around in this thing? We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Yeesh. Move out of my way. Thank you. Oh, come on. Really, you're going to make me pick this up, too? You're gonna make me pick this up too. Doesn't tell me anything. God. This game can be interesting at sometimes. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. This game can be quite something. Top end of town stuff gives us somewhere to look. I guess it does. Could have been a modeling assignment. Ah, would you look at that? It's place to start. Julia again. Well, this is something. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Back in my day, we had Sears. I went to one. It's pretty cool. They had a bunch of lawnmower stuff on sale for like almost 90% off. I was uh, rather shocked. All right, my dear, we're gonna talk to you now. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Wait, who is she? Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. 
There she goes. All right, uh, victim state of mind. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Nah, that's a lie. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. The sleeping pills? She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pillbox, the things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Does modeling really pay that well? Oh my God. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. That's a lie because there's Why the smoking are you lying jackets. To me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. Oh. You can't prove that. Uh, oh, really? What about the men's smoking jacket? Who's the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. What? He seemed very much in love with her. Oh, no. Where would we find him? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Doubt. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Uh, let's go to... Julia Randall's apartment. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely Might gets have. it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. We do a complete 360 of this building. There's got to be some hardcore evidence. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, because now I don't know where, uh... Where would someone hide their drugs at? Nothing. I don't know. Hmm.
I honestly don't know. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. You'd think that they throw them somewhere. I don't know, man. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look this up and see what where it is. Alrighty, I am back. I didn't really see too much, so we're just gonna go uh, to... We're gonna go to the practice. We're just gonna go to the practice. I really You're didn't see the wheel. anything. I could be wrong though, but who knows? Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. You know what we're talking about, Rusty? Because if we are... So who do we have to go look for? Or maybe talk to? We gotta talk to someone. Dr. Stoneman's practice. Stoneman. Wait, what? What? What doctor office is this? Yeah, Doctor Stoneman's practice. So, who would it be? I wonder if we have to go up the elevator. Wait, what's back here? Oh, that's just an exit. Alright, let's go up the elevator. Oh, he doesn't walk in there automatically? I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Oh yeah, Stoneman's on five. Here, Stoneman, Office 505. Okay, where's 505? 503? 505. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Oh, God. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Come here, you little... Wipe. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. 
Okay, what's the real with the victim? How well did you know Miss Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Hmm. No, lie. It's the Julia prescription. Julia has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? No, but it's the prescription. It's the... It's... Yeah. The prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but... No. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. Right, go tell that to Rusty. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her. But she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. Interesting. You don't know, eh? You said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. All right, let's go to the boutique store. Come on, start running. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. No, I make you drive because I don't like driving. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Grown men playing at being. Well, boys. hello. What can I help you with today? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you no. have. You just threw We're an apple at my face. About Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. Who? Uh, okay, employment How history. How long Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Okay. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, a wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? 
Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Why? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced to my fiance, Henry Arnett. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Okay. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. believe it. She was so full of life. Okay, I'm going to split this video into two parts. I hope you guys like this part. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry about the tones going off. My uh, ambulance service got a call, so I do apologize. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe. I know I just said that. Peace out. Peace.